If you've ever had a run-in with Henry Farrell, you're not alone. Over the past 25 years, Boca Raton police say they've arrested the 46-year-old about 50 times. And statewide records show he's been booked on nearly 200 different occasions. He's been arrested all over the state, numerous jurisdictions from Miami up to Orlando. So. Farrell's latest arrest, number 190, came late Monday night outside this Boca Raton Starbucks when he allegedly tried to carjack a guy's truck. The victim got away but called Boca Raton police who quickly found Farrell, yet again, the same guy they'd been dealing with for more than two decades now. Most of our officers are familiar with him by name or face, if not by actual contact, and it's uh, a matter of officer safety. Um, at one point, he liked to fight with us. One of Farrell's more memorable arrests probably took place back in 2004 here at the Boca Raton Resort and Club, where Farrell had run up a bill for well over $100 under another guest's name. When they tried to chase him down, he came here to the Camino Real Bridge and took a nosedive right into the Intracoastal Waterway. Records show other arrests for drugs, grand theft, retail theft, fraud, all sorts of crimes. But in most cases, Farrell has done little, if any, jail time. I can't understand why he's still let out to keep doing things over and over again. Dealing with a criminal justice system from a different perspective, we, it's not perfect. An understatement, some might argue, in Farrell's case, but police say it's frustrating for them, too. After nearly 200 arrests, it's clear, they say, Farrell is not about to change his ways. Luckily, no one got hurt, and hopefully there will be some severe consequences for him.